How's it going, everybody? My name's Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to print out your Amazon FBA product SKU labels, the little itty bitty barcodes that are going on your individual products. You're going to be printing those out with your Rolo printer or an X printer, a Mei Hang Tong. This tutorial actually will probably work with any thermal label printer, but specifically to the clamshell style, you know what I'm talking about. The Rolo style of printers is what we're kind of going over. I'm specifically working on a Mac in this tutorial. The process is pretty much gonna be the same. Obviously, there are gonna be some slight differentiations in some of the settings, how you get to the settings on a PC. If you wanna see this same tutorial on a PC, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump right into the tutorial. You will need a couple of steps to get this working. You're gonna need the correct size labels. I'm using the 62 millimeter by 29 millimeter labels that are actually made for a brother printer, but they will work with a Rolo perfectly fine. I will put a link to those labels in the description, but if you use a different label, make sure you use your label settings, which we'll go over later on in this video. You're gonna need your printer installed on your computer, already calibrated to those labels. So if you don't already know how to calibrate your printer, refer to another video, a Rolo instruction manual on how to calibrate your printer. And then this is a very important step. You're gonna have to be on Google Chrome because we're gonna be using the Rolo Chrome extension in order to crop the labels correctly. So I haven't done a tutorial on how to install the Rolo Chrome extension or like highlighting that, but it's pretty simple. You just go to rolo.com forward slash Chrome extension or you Google Rolo Chrome extension. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. Download Rolo Chrome extension right there, install it to Chrome, and then you have to make a Rolo account, which is free, and you'll have to sign into your Rolo account right here. So I'm already logged in. I only have the option to log out, but you'll have to log in and you'll have to sign up and get an account and get all that squared away in order to get the Chrome extension working. So what the Chrome extension essentially does is it pops up this little Rolo button, which you'll see in a second, which crops labels to a format that Rolo knows that we need. They're very smart about this. Probably some simple code that they write that crops the PDF into a format that we actually are really grateful that they do. So here I am on FBA and you can see over here, this is normally what the product SKUs look like. This is like a short little, I don't know, 10 item shipment. So it formats it eight and a half by 11 like that. I have this drop down checked because it is the closest millimeter by millimeter dimensions as my labels, which are 62 by 29. So 63 and a half by 29.6 is very, very close to that. So I checked that and we're gonna go over here to the Rolo labels button, click on that. As you can see, it's going to convert into a nice cropped PDF. I'm gonna hit command P, this is where you have to be very, very careful. You're gonna have to make sure these settings are correct. You're gonna be wasting a lot of labels trying to figure it out, getting frustrated, and you're gonna be wanting to throw your printer through the wall. Your destination printer, your Rolo, you're gonna pick your Rolo. This is my X printer, my Mei Hang Tong um, Chinese printer. And we're going to print using the system dialog because that gives us a little bit more options than what we have right here. So we're gonna go to print using system dialog. You're gonna pick your printer, X printer right there. Presets, you're gonna just do last use settings because that's gonna save these current settings as the last use settings. Paper size is very important. Here you're gonna go to manage custom size. You're going to go to plus. I'll rename this, something you're going to remember. I already have X printer FBA SKU up there, but if you were a Rolo, you could type in Rolo FBA SKU, and that's your FBA SKU dimensions. Now you're going to adjust your margins. It's gonna be zero, 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 zero over here. So the user defined non-printable area, it's defining everything as printable. And then your paper size, this is very, very important. We're gonna go to a calculator. If you buy the labels that I'm using for this tutorial, you're not gonna have to calculate it. But if you, for some reason, have another set of labels, then you're gonna wanna have to calculate it. So you're gonna have to put your inches in a decimal format. So this is two and three sevenths of an inch. So I'm gonna do three divided by seven to get this decimal. So four, two, eight. So it's basically 0.428. So that's my width is 2.428 and it rounded it up to 2.43 and my height is one and one seventh of an inch. So we go to the calculator, one divided by seven 
is 0.1428. So 1.1428, and it rounds that to 1.14. So the width is 2.43 and 1.14, and that is a conversion from 2 and 3 sevenths of an inch by 1 and 1 seventh of an inch. And you will have to convert it for whatever labels you have if you're not using the labels that I have for this tutorial. And these these labels work out for me. I have a box of them. They're fairly cheap off of Amazon and they've lasted me a very long time. We're going to hit okay. Then you're gonna make sure that paper size is checked. Rolo FBA skew, orientation, that should be fine. Everything looks good. Uh, your printer has already been calibrated for these labels. We're going to hit print. And just like that, we have our FBA SKUs. They look absolutely gorgeous. They are not going to deteriorate or degrade in the warehouse. They are going to stick on your product. You're not gonna have to worry about that barcode getting smudged from a laser or a inkjet printer. It's gonna keep your inventory safer for longer. That's pretty much it. You're gonna use that to label your products and you'll be good to go. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You wanna see any other tutorials specific to Amazon or eBay or whatever. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.